Police say officers came out here because they were trying to find a man who was wanted in connection to several felonies, including uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. He's also linked to a murder investigation. Now, when police tried to arrest this guy, we're told the suspect and another man with him started shooting and two officers returned fire. Now, take a look. This is the aftermath of that shootout earlier today. At least two police cars were hit. This all started around 4.30 p.m. when officers had tracked down their suspect to this location in Prairie View near a taco truck. No officers were hurt in that shootout, but both suspects were hit. They were both flown to a hospital in Houston in critical condition. Tonight, I asked HPD if they normally travel to other counties to arrest suspects wanted in Houston. Houston Police Department is short on people. Every other agency out here is short on people. So we're all backing each other up. So we might go into another county looking for a suspect. They might come into our county or into our city. We support them. They support us. The goal is public safety. So and, and criminals do not know where jurisdictional lines are. Now, important to note, police say there was also a woman in the vehicle with these two suspects, but she was not hurt. Police also say one of these suspects had a semi-automatic firearm that was modified to be fully automatic. Now, HPD says both of these officers are on administrative leave pending an investigation. Both the Waller County DA and Texas Rangers are participating in that investigation. We're live tonight in Prairie View. Stephen Gowen, KHOU 11 News. Harris County.